memorize these steps, then you'll be okay. Um, so then I start off by saying, oh, uh, up here I added some static text. Um, the, here's the dimensions. It says a game demo in progress, which is going to be over to the side of our window here. Uh, I told the cursor to set set the cursor to uh, invisible, or set it to false. And then, uh, okay, so here's the main tutorial. Um, <clears throat> here's how we're going to render our uh, terrain. Uh, we're going to call in the uh, I scene, our I terrain scene node. We're going to declare our pointer terrain, and we're going to assign it a value of scene manager. Um, let's do uh, the arrow. Uh, add terrain scene node, and we're going to uh, put parentheses, and inside that we're going to put our parentheses at simbiheightmap.bmp. And <coughs> I would like to go through all of this in detail, but uh, I really don't have that much time. It's a 10, vid uh, ten minute video, so I'm trying to keep it short. These are just uh, positioning vectors. And um, so the terrain, I set the EMF lighting to false because. Um, uh, at first I wasn't going to texture this, but I did add a texture onto it. So this could be set to true if you really wanted it, but just set it to false for now. Uh, the terrain, I set the uh, material texture. I grabbed this file off of Google Images, this rock final. So I just put it in the function, so it would add that up. <coughs> and I scaled it a hundred times in the Y and the X direction or the Y and the Z direction, or however that works. <coughs> okay, I set a simple key map for the uh, camera. It's a me, W is moved, just the basic uh, frames per second things. I added a frames uh, per second camera. I changed the velocity of movement to 5.0F. Usually the default is 0.5F. And I set the position in 1000 in the Y direction, and the aspect ratio is going to be 16 over 9. And I set the far value pretty big. I set it to 100,000, which is the default's 2,000, but it was a little small for what I'm going to be using here. And then I just added a light uh, with a color of white at 1,000 in the y direction. And then I just summed it up by saying to run the device and to run all the drivers and to draw all. I defined in the scene manager in the uh, GUINV in the driver and end scene. And this is typical on every, and like anything you're going to do on Ehrlich, so just remember that this is the last step, and this is the beginning steps to include your namespaces and header files. And the middle is just basically whatever you want to do. Again, I know this can be confusing, but just for now, all I want you to know is that you can copy and paste this into your code blocks, which I have here. Uh, press F9 or Control F9 to build it which is going to put it into your wherever you decide to make this project then you can just grab it, I created a shortcut to the folder that it's going to be in you can drag this into your game file which now you should have the Ehrlich.dl, your texture that you added and your height map so now if we run this we will see that we have a simple terrain that has hills and we can go along this with our frames per second camera, we can look all around it can, we can see all the different shapes of the terrain and there's the texture that's been repeated so if you really wanted to make this more detailed you'd have to throw on a d all these different layers of textures to actually make it look like a decent, because up here it just looks like it just has been repeated a thousand times which is exactly what it's been doing but um, yeah, this is my first video, so I'm going to be making another video shortly. So if anyone watches this, just uh, rate it and leave some comments of what I can do to improve. And uh, until next time, uh, until next time, guys.